Contractions hurt a lot. They hurt a lot. Want to know how to take them on like a champ? Well, keep watching this video about my labor and delivery story where I had no epidural and how I overcame it and how I was able to use these pain management tips to help me win. My name is Brittany Kelly. Thank you for stopping by to my channel. If this is your first time here, remember to subscribe. And for those who have already subscribed, thank you so much. Everybody, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that might be of value to you. And let me get right into the good stuff right now. So, I, it was about mm, a year and a half ago. And I was nine months pregnant. All right, with my third baby on the way. And the first two, I wanted to go all natural, but I always made it to seven and a half centimeters and just couldn't take the pain anymore, even with a doula. So anyone who knows me very well knows I like to do research. So I dug, dug deep to find what I could do to help me get this no epidural, all natural birth experience that I was looking for. And I found it. This really worked for me. So tip number one is you have to understand what pain is. You know, it's a signal to the brain. So once you change your perception of what you're trying to deal with, it can really help you. So right now you want to change it to I'm not trying to manage pain. I'm trying to manage my perception of the pain. That's step number one. All right, now let's go to the next thing. Here's one of the tricks you can do to help you manage your perception of pain. You kind of have to train for this like it's a marathon or something, right? <laughs> so you wouldn't just start running a marathon without like actually practicing or running a few miles, right? So it's helpful before going into labor to practice a little bit. And what I mean by practice is doing the ice bucket challenge. Now, I know that sounds intense, but hear me out. You're going to stick your hand in a bucket of ice cold water. And I want you to start thinking about all of the thoughts that come to mind to make you want to pull your hand out of the water, out of the discomfort, right? And you want to take notes of that, like, okay, I start telling myself X, Y, and Z, right? About it being unbearable, it being uncomfortable. You wanna kinda of play with what's going on here? What am I thinking? Do I focus all of my attention to my hand or am I able to divert to something else? What can help me keep my hand in this, in this ice a little bit longer? If you are able to do that and train that way, it'll help you understand better how to take on the pain and how to redirect your thoughts when you're dealing with labor. Now, what if you don't have time to do the ice bucket challenge and you are due like tomorrow? What do you do? All right, skip the ice bucket challenge and get right down to the nitty gritty. All right, so for me, it was game day and I had to think about some of the things that would help me focus well on managing this pain, right? So for me, at the time that I knew I was going to go into labor, I made a playlist. I know it sounds so simple, but it matters. So make a playlist of the songs that will make you happy, like genuinely happy, make you smile every time you hear it. It does not have to be ambient music, because for me, that wasn't calming, that didn't make me smile. You get what I'm saying? When I, when I hear ambient music, it's very nice, it's very relaxing, it doesn't make me smile. So my playlist had stuff on it like some Disney songs, like When You Wish Upon a Star, which makes me smile, such a sweet song, and Juveniles Back That Thing Up. <laughs> <laughs> there was no ambient music on there. Only music that makes me smile. And this is why that was important. So while you're in labor, you're actually producing happy hormones, okay? As well as hormones that are helping the labor along, right? And this is very important for you to recognize because it's not always just the pain that labor brings on. It actually brings on this like drug level type of happiness. <laughs> if 
that makes any sense. Like you have so many happy hormones going on at that time that you can tap into that and really try to use that to push you forward. And you need to focus in more on the happy feeling that's there than the pain. But it's really hard to do that with the pain because you don't even know to look for those happy hormones. So my suggestion is to look for those happy hormones and the best way to help guide you there is with some music that makes you smile. And if the music doesn't make you smile, here's my next tip. Smile in general. And I'm serious. Let me make this clear. This was the best pain management technique that I did. I smiled. Okay? Look just like this, smile. Literally forced the smile. Tried to think of things that would make me smile and if that did not work, I smiled anyway through the contraction. Smile the entire time. Focus on actually smiling. Seriously, don't yell, don't scream, don't worry about all the hee hee ah ha ha's and stuff. Smile. I'm so serious, smile, right? And while I was smiling, I would count, right? I would count how many times I could tap my toes. Now you can use something else that can redirect you, but literally I would tap my toes and tap my knee and count and see how long or how many taps on my knee I could do within one contraction. And once that contraction was over, I literally forgot about the contraction. I just remembered the amount of taps that I did. I didn't even think about the contraction. It's just, I was just like, oh, I just tapped my knee X amount of times. And that helped me stay present because sometimes once you're taking on one contraction, then another, then another, the buildup becomes overwhelming. And then once you become overwhelmed, you can just get lost in the pain and you think you cannot manage. So literally take it one small contraction at a time. Don't think about the contraction coming, don't think about the contraction that just passed. In that moment, focus on finding those happy, endorphin-like, oxytocin, oxytocin high that's going on in between those contractions. Focus on that and don't worry about the next one. Have someone else think about the timing and how many contractions are coming. Give that job to your partner. But your focus is just finding those happy hormones and tapping your knee and that's it. Okay, so here I was doing all these things, smiling, tapping, and literally was fully dilated and didn't even realize I had gotten to that point because I was focusing my language around the contractions to be positive. Instead of saying it would hurt, I would say it was effective. <laughs> you know, just changing my whole entire perception of the pain uh, itself, right? So there I am in the hospital. They're telling me, oh my God, you are fully dilated. We have to go. So all this commotion comes in and I get lost in the commotion of everybody else panicking and I begin to take on some of that panic. So instead of my pain management being like, oh, tap, tap, at my knee between every, for every single contraction, I went from huh, to huh, because everyone was around me. So my doula, such an angel, said to me, oh my God, Brittany, think high, think high notes. And that was so good. I mean, it literally shifted my entire energy back to that smiling, back to the positivity. Instead of huh, breathing down, it was huh, right? Mm. <laughs> it sounds silly, but it works, okay? Bring it up. So bring that attention up. Instead of down here in the belly, bring it to the head, bring it to the face, you know? Bring it to your facial cavities and all that stuff. Bring it up. I'm serious. Bring it up. And that will really help you not get lost in all of this pain and bearing down and all the things. No, just bring it up. When it's time to bear down and push, you will no longer think those contractions are painful. In fact, you will more likely think those contractions are helpful because when you're pushing, that contraction is helping you get that baby out. So literally your entire motivation and the way that you see contractions shift when you get to that point. So when you need to bear down and focus down, 
you won't even need that technique of lifting it up to keep your focus positive because at this point your baby is arriving you literally have so much positivity going on like you just get so lost in that you don't even need it so just until that point just keep it up high keep the focus high smile and don't let anyone make you jaded or not smile or yell because literally it will change your focus no matter what focus on smiling that is my number one tip tap and then make sure you have that playlist on if ambient music and cool music make you happy and make you smile that's great but for me it was disney tunes and and ratchet tunes to be honest <laughs> those are things that make me laugh so do that, make that playlist, make it nice and long um, so that you have something to work with for however long labor is. And yeah, at that point, I pushed out the baby, I delivered him, smiling and all, and I'll never forget the nurses, they were so confused because they knew this woman came in ready to give birth and they were looking for my room, but they didn't know which room to go to because they were looking for it. Um, by trying to listen out for a woman screaming but I was the woman who was smiling <laughs> during birth so that I could be uh, pain management under control happiness and I made it and this really helped me with my goal and I think that mindfulness positivity keeping it up counting staying present for each and every single contraction, not thinking about the past or the or the future, is your key to pain management. It may sound simple, but when you're actually practicing it and actually thinking about how you take on pain, so the next time you have any type of pain, if you try to think about how you're taking on, how you're managing it, you know, think about your thoughts and consider it, you know, see what you can do in that moment to shift your, your energy and take that right on with you to labor. The ice bucket challenge is a really good way to do that. Please do not numb your hand to the point that you have to go to the hospital or anything crazy like that. Do it within reason, but uh, give it a shot. Let me know in the comment section about your labor and delivery experiences. If anybody else had pain management techniques that really worked for them for their natural delivery or just to help them with pain up until the time that they were ready for an epidural. Let me know. Talk to me in the conversation, comment section. I love our shame free mommy community that we have here at my channel and i just want to keep it that way so be positive share and also share this video come back i'll see you guys later Mwah -mwah. thank you bye bye